Hi, I'm Jen Maleka, the Holistic Health Boss, your functional diagnostic health practitioner and business mentor. And in this video, I want to teach you how to easily enroll clients in a way that feels good for both you and them. Now, I wonder, are you doing consultations, also known as discovery calls and also known as enrollment calls, but struggling to enroll people in your programs? Do you wish you could easily enroll people on the spot instead of chasing after them and getting ghosted? I remember when every call I had seemed to be a dead end, but all of that changed when I figured out the three stages for a successful consultation that led to an enrollment almost 100% of the time. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I don't like being a salesperson, but in some ways, it's part of the job as a functional health practitioner. For a long time, I worked for a big gym chain whose whole business was centered around sales. At the end of every month, we hustled to reach our numbers and the sales tactics were, you know, slimy and it felt downright icky. Now, most of us have probably received a cold sales call or heard about and experienced a sales situation similar to the one that I just mentioned. And it's left a bad taste in our mouths about how to approach sales in our own business. The first step to having a successful consultation with a potential client is to have the right frame of mind before you go into the appointment. You are not a used car salesperson trying to sell them something that they don't need. You actually have a very valuable service, level of expertise, and solutions that can truly help people improve their health, feel better about themselves, and in turn, they will have a more positive impact on the world. Money is simply an exchange of energy, love, and your expertise. You could do your job for free, and most of us healer types probably would if that was realistic, but we all have bills to pay at the end of the day. Ultimately, bringing money into your business means that you can actually help more people. You deserve to be paid for what you bring to the table and how you can help people. You are going to change their lives forever. So prior to any type of appointment for a discovery call or consultation, I want you to give yourself a little pep talk first with these things in mind. And then once you have your mind right, there are three critical stages that you should walk through in every consultation conversation in order to enroll a client easily and in a way that leaves you both feeling really good about it. So in the rest of this video, I wanna walk you through the three stages of a successful consultation so that you can easily enroll clients and help more people and feel good about what it is that you're doing. And these are the exact same steps that I take in my enrollment calls too. Now here's the thing, health is one of is one of, if not the most vulnerable topics for someone to engage in, especially when they have been dismissed in the past like so many of our clients have been in the functional health industry. Rightfully so, they are skeptical when they show up to a call with us because of how they've been let down or led astray by their traditional medical system. Therefore, overcoming their objections and building trust depends on your ability to conduct a quality consultation conversation successfully. The key to enrolling a client without feeling salesy is to keep it personal and authentic. If you show up as yourself and relate to them on a personal way, any walls that they have up will immediately come down, leaving an open door for you to really communicate the value in what you have to offer them. You can accomplish this by moving through these three stages during the call. Stage one is all about building rapport while forming an impression. This is generally the first 10 to 15 minutes. This is where you initially create a personal connection, identify their main health complaints, and get a high level overview of their health history. 
you should start the call by saying something like this. I'm so glad that you took the time to schedule a consultation with me today. I read what you submitted in your questionnaire and I can't wait to dive into more details to see how I might be able to help. To make the most of your valuable time today, I wanna to spend the next 45 minutes getting to know you better so I can really understand what's going on with your health and what you want in regards to your health instead. At the end, I'll share some of my insights about what might help you and we can discuss if we're a right fit to work together and what that might look like. How does that sound to you? Stage two then is all about identifying intrinsic motivation and their desires. So this is the next 10 to 15 minutes. And this is where you want to explore what they really want to be experiencing instead of health wise and why this is so important to them. You'll want to dig deep and uncover their intrinsic motivation. When you identify an emotional connection cord, this is where you've really opened up the doors to build real value in the solutions that you have to offer. To transition to this stage, you would probably some, say something along these lines. Let's talk about what it is that you want for your health now. If I had a magic wand and can give you anything that you wanted in the next 30, 60, or 90 days, what would that be exactly? This is where you should then dig deeper by asking a few follow-up questions repeatedly until you get to an emotional state, usually related to having more happiness, joy, or freedom in life. Once they give you a response, you can ask them, and what would having that do for you? Why is that important for you? And then what would having that do for you? And then why is that important to you to get to those deeper levels? Finally, stage three is all about mirroring and making an irresistible offer the last 10 to 15 minutes. So now that you've made them feel seen and heard, it's time to tie it all together by mirroring back to them what they said while connecting the dots so they can see the big picture and the solutions that you have to their problem. This is also where you want to talk in terms of transformation, not logistics, when you explain how you work with people. All along the way, get as many affirmations or yes statements from them as possible in this stage by saying things like, does that make sense to you? In which they'll say yes. Or do you see how that all comes together? And they'll say yes. And would you like to know more about how I work with clients in which they'll say yes? Once you have described how you work with your clients and what your packages look like, you can ask them to set aside any hesitations, limitations, and let them know which package resonated with them the most. This is a no obligation way for them to tell you what they are really interested in and it comfortably opens up the conversation about the next steps in working with you and enrollment. Now, as I said earlier, I've used these exact three stages for over eight years to easily enroll clients and I know that they can work for you too. So if you wanna know the exact consultation script that I use, you can go ahead and actually click on the link below to get my consultation script and additional tips to help you help more people. All right, I hope you found this video incredibly helpful. I'll see you in the next video.